We've got breaking news in the NFL, where the Carolina Panthers are planning to hire Dave Canales as their new head coach. That's the latest from our Jonathan Jones. The 42-year-old Canales spent the 2023 season as the offensive coordinator in Tampa Bay, working with Baker Mayfield as they won the NFC South. Now, prior to that, he spent more than a decade as an assistant with the Seahawks. And now he'll get a chance to work with Bryce Young, who struggled as a rookie as the Panthers finished 2-15, and with Frank Wright getting fired after Week 12. Our lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones joining us now. So the Panthers planning to hire Dave Canales as their new head coach. JJ, how did this all go down? So Dave Canales met in person yesterday with the Carolina Panthers, I believe, at David Tepper's home in South Charlotte. Meeting would have taken place in the afternoon, uh, and it was an in-person meeting, and it was one that obviously went very well, uh, we were able to report at that time. And so, look, he was always sort of an apple of Tepper's eye. Really, the, the true apple, if we're being honest, was Ben Johnson with the Detroit Lions. David Tepper had wanted him for some time. It has become very clear in league circles that Ben Johnson is going to be going to the Washington Commanders. And so clearly, David Tepper didn't wait to see the inevitable. And so he went after someone who is 42 years old, a young offensive play caller, but someone who is a really good offensive play caller in Dave Canales, who knows that division and who has resuscitated Baker Mayfield's career. And so that is the next step for the Carolina Panthers. Tepper, uh, who grew up in uh, the Pittsburgh area, who was a part owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers before becoming the owner of the Carolina Panthers, has said that he's looking for his Chuck Knoll that he wants someone who can be uh, with the Carolina Panthers organization for not just years, but decades. And so getting a 42-year-old offensive play caller, someone who you're not getting a defensive guy who if you pick an offensive coordinator as uh, there and he does well, he's going to get plucked somewhere else. And you're constantly replenishing uh, on that side. That is not something Dave Tepper has ever wanted to do. He has constantly gone after offense, first with Matt Rule, then with Frank Reich when he probably should have hired Steve Wilkes anyway, and now going with Dave Canales, uh, hoping that he's going to be there, bring a Lombardi or two or three uh, to Carolina. Uh, it's going to take some time. There's no question about it, but Dave Canales spending so much time with the Seattle Seahawks with new general manager uh, Dan Morgan, who uh, was a linebacker for the Panthers in the 2000s and then was with uh, the Seahawks front office for a decade before going to the Buffalo Bills and then Carolina. So there's familiarity there. There's no question. Dave Canales, a younger guy, is going to be able to speak the language of so many of these players. Uh, he is California cool and is always positive, Jenny constant positive energy this is a new era in charlotte california cool i like it now it's been said that his work in tampa this year especially with baker mayfield stood out so what did you see from him in tampa and moving forward what can he do for bryce young look baker mayfield was left for dead in the NFL, right? He had to take a pay cut to go to Carolina last year, got benched, and then he started and got benched again. It didn't work. Gets released, goes to the Rams, plays a couple of good games, gets really two wins for them, but ultimately signed for a one-year, $4 million contract with Tampa, where it was not clear that he was going to be the starting quarterback when he signed that deal. Dave Canales brought back Baker Mayfield, and Baker Mayfield is now going to sign a long-term contract that's going to be... Uh, uh, in the 20s, 30s, perhaps millions of dollars per year, probably in the 20s. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But we see right here what Bake was able to do there. And he loves Dave Canales. I talked with him last month when I was in Tampa interviewing Baker Mayfield uh, for the NFL Today. Absolutely speaks very highly of Canales. And now, of course, Tampa has to find a new offensive coordinator. But what is he going to do for Carolina? Well, hopefully fix all of the offensive problems and like no coach can simply fix them that's not just what dave canales uh that can't just fall on his shoulders that's going to fall on the personnel they're going to have to figure out that offensive line they're going to have to get younger and get more speed at wide receiver so that they can get more separation because so often bryce young was throwing to guys who were very well covered they're going to have to figure out the run game probably overpaid for miles sanders last offseason and then bryce 
You hope that he didn't develop too many bad habits. The truth is, at, toward the end of the season, he was developing some bad habits. You have to get rid of those. So that's going to be number one for Canales, is making sure that Bryce can shake last season um, because toward the end of the season it was not very good for him so that's priority one Dan Morgan and that front office staff priority one for them is figuring out and fixing uh, and giving Canales the pieces on offense so that the Panthers don't have to relive what was uh, the worst season that they had had in nearly um, you know at least a decade so you have a new coach in tow how far away are the Panthers now and obviously we have no idea how this is all going to play out, but what, what would your take? They play in one of the NFL's weaker divisions. Where are they at? Yeah, so let's take a look at that division, right? So Tampa is now going to have to get an offensive coordinator, but they have a lot of really good pieces, right? And we just saw how close they were to beating the Detroit Lions that we all agree is one of the best teams in the NFL. Uh, so we'll see how they plug that spot and, and then be able to determine and, and prognosticate their future there. You look at the Atlanta Falcons where you, you talk to one side and it's not going to be Bill Belichick. You talk to another side and they say, well, what other option do the Atlanta Falcons have? So we'll see if it is the GOAT at head coach with all of the resources to go out and find his next quarterback either in the draft or in free agency oh, that could really determine their futures right and then of course New Orleans Saints who are aging who are trying to hang in there a solid but aging defense a quarterback in Derek Carr who this is his last good chance so a lot still to be figured out they're also looking for an offensive coordinator as well so an NFC South that for the past couple of years has frankly been the weakest division in football. Uh, there's still some time that we need to determine what this division looks like, but as far as how far away are the Carolina Panthers from actually competing for a Lombardi, they're nowhere close to the San Francisco 49ers, right? Uh, that's who you're gonna have to go through. Um, you know, if the Philadelphia Eagles uh, revamp this, they're not close to the Philadelphia Eagles, but two years from now can we see that turnaround can they take a step like we saw with the houston texans who were really bad for the last couple of years you get the right coach you get the quarterback and now you can get into the postseason can that happen for the carolina panthers and then that next season they look to take that jump i don't see why not jonathan jones with the breaking news the carolina panthers are planning to hire dave canales as their new head coach jj thanks for your time so Canales jumping over to Carolina, 42-year-old, spent the 2023 season as the offensive coordinator, and you look at the carousel as it goes round and round. The domino effect continues to go down, so Tampa will need a new OC as the Seahawks, the Falcons, and the Commanders are the last three positions open.